for the try to What in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? You're now listening to Shot vs. Smiles. You crazy. Yeah, you will fall and they'll be like, oh, well, that nigga fell. All right. Well, I got to get to work. I got to get to here. I gotta Man, get to remember, I, my first experience with that was that story I told you about. I still don't know if that one was a lie. They looked at me crazy. Like, why do you care? <laughs> they, that's what they looked at me. I just like this. And everybody's like, I got to go to work. <laughs> I got to go, go to work, bro. You in my way. <laughs> Oh man, New Yorkers do not have that time. They do not have the time. They don't care if you. They don't care if you visit. <laughs> but I tell folks all the time. Everybody's like, "Do you? How you keep up with the pace?" And I said, "What do you mean?" I said, "It's literally just like everything else I do. I know where I'm going. I know how to get there. I'm not up there like." Oh, what, what, what train is this? No, I already know I'm going. I already know I'm going. What I need? Like, I'm not folks, like you should know that when you go to a foreign city, folks. Yeah, it's not really foreign. Eh. I mean, like, <laughs> if you ain't been there, like, you gotta know where you're going. Like, hey, yeah, I know you know. We, we, we ain't got time to stop and figure, figure things out. Like, the first time. Uh, now, the first time. Hmm. First, I'm only stayed in one borough, so it really didn't matter. So I was in one, you know, I was in one place, so it didn't, it didn't really matter. It was um, I was in Queens the whole time, so I didn't. So me, like, oh man, how do I get here? How do I get there? I literally ate at the Dominican spot up the street. I went to, you know, I went to the poppy shop up the street. Got what I needed from there. And then the only time I really went somewhere was to go to the restaurant show. Now the second time, yeah, I made sure I had the subway system, the MTA audit to a science. I only got, yeah, I only got lost one time. And I did my famous, say, man, this is crazy. You won't believe where I'm at right now. And then, <laughs> And then I got to where I needed to be, and I was still on time. So that's the one thing I like about uh, New York is the frequency of the trains. Mm-hmm. And they have this, they have the express trains and things. I can imagine being so bougie, I wouldn't get on a uh, train or bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. In the middle of the episode, okay. They'll be alright. Hmm? I said they'll be alright. It ain't 15 right. seconds. Alright, you're right, you're right. Alright, so this is um episode OVO 40. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good, was a good one. one. You like that one? <laughs> I wouldn't even think that. I would, like, I was going to say that. You know what's so sad? I was going to say that regardless. <laughs> Every time I think of the number 40, I think of OVO. I think 40. Um, or I think Harry Berry. Harrison Barnes. Hey. Sister, Sister Harrison Barnes episode. Um, it's S dot, aka Shy. And now I'm gonna let uh as my iPhone says, Smiles. <laughs> oh yeah. You do. yeah. I remember the first time uh E Ray showed me, he was like, yeah. You know my phone doesn't say smile. It says smile. I was like, "What?" He was like, "Call, smiles. call smiles," and it was like, well, he was like, "Call smiles, calling smiles." Smiles. Nah, nah, I can't do it because it might actually call you for real. Um, what do I normally call you? My son. My boy. Outside of that, Joshua, my boy. Yeah. 
So I was like, so all I gotta do is say, call Joshua. You know, they'll say, calling Smeely. So I'm like, what? <laughs> you don't even say your name at the time. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> and I said, it's smiles, not Smeely's. It's me, Liz. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I phone getting disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because it reminds me of uh, Google Maps. You'd be like, that real... Uh, Houston? Turn, turn, <laughs> yeah, turn on Houston. It's Houston. Houston. It's a name it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, of a fucking city. Uh, turn, turn on, on ha- Ka- Keist. I'm like, you mean Keist? Keist. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> so yeah, it calls you Smeelis. I'm like, so yeah, I'll be like, hey, call Joshua. Calling Smeelis. Or I'll say you're like your full government. But when she lazy, oh, Siri gonna just say Smeelis and go about her day. <laughs> but yeah, uh, your name not Smeelis. Uh, what they call you out here, man? Yeah, you know, it's your boy Josh, a.k.a. Smiles, a.k.a. the hip-hop Evan Shifter, a.k.a. La Josh James, a.k.a. Mr. Chocolate City. We we'll gonna keep it right there. We'll yeah, keep it right there, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mm-hmm. Mr. Washington D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> that's yeah, what that yeah. means. He you really know. likes Washington. Yeah, uh, you, you know, um, just you know, if you want to know, just check out past episodes of you know, Shot versus Smiles, Uncle Urban, and Opera Ruckus. You know, you'll get the jokes <laughs> if you check out those past episodes. You know, man, you know what? Um, before you introduce me, I want to thank everybody that's finally like following and the new listeners. Like, I'm glad y'all finally realized that when I post on social, like, hey, y'all should be fu- y'all should be going over here. Y'all finally going over there. Thank y'all. That's good. That's good. This is working. This is working. You you, you guys are listening. I I thought <laughs> name it. I thought you were idiots. Listening public. I thought you were dumb. I said these these guys must be morons. Thank you for listening. And thank you for paying attention. I appreciate you. I really do. Now, you may go ahead. Well, for those who, who haven't been turned off by that. You know, they're not. This is shit. They're not. They're if, they're not. A, if they're a new listener, you can be like, I've only first just not checked out the first episode. And he's calling me an idiot. <laughs> Oh no! If you listen to me, you know I, I, they, they, they. If you know, if you got the reference of where this came from, aka me, Shot calls everybody an idiot. <laughs> That's just what he does. <laughs> yeah, so I might be like, this might be my first episode, my second episode. Already. Oh, if you're a new listener, I'll, 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 I'll make you feel better. You're not that dumb. How about that? <laughs> now go ahead. <laughs> now go ahead. <laughs> Well, again, people, if you are, have not been feeling disrespected by who, what he said, if if you're not, you know, whatever, hey, you know, if, if you did, you know, that's on you, whatever. Um, but that was Shad, aka Shad Diddy, aka Shot Forty One, aka Shot the Visky. I like that, but yeah, man, no, 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 I really don't think that our listening public is dense. I just really think they're slow to the party. And what I mean by that, not in a mental sense, I mean like, y'all really think it's like difficult, or like it's, it's gonna be very time consuming just to press follow. <laughs> All you do is press follow. Like when we put the link, like when we put the ads, just click the ad and press follow and close the app. You'll get all the information that you're like, oh man, when's the last episode? Oh man, there's been like three episodes I missed. But you would know if you just follow the pages, which we say at the end of every episode. And then we post them on social media. If you follow us on social media, or if you would have subscribed from the get go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you just subscribe, you get a notification. Mm, No. Bing, bang, boom. Like, like, subscribe, and comment, folks. It's, 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 it's very it's, simple. You don't even actually have to follow us on social media. <laughs> to, to, well, nah, you we would prefer that. if you did, because those are like, you know, if you don't get the, you got your notifications off. I mean, you're scrolling through, boom, we're right there. Or we might be in a story, same thing. And my cup just fell. Anyway. So... How's your week been? 
You're not going to get the official news, but at least it's been productive. Yes, it's, 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 it's been a productive, long, tiring weekend. I was like, um, a little nap I took earlier. I didn't realize how tired I was. But then when you think about everything that I've gone on, because I, I started Saturday with going volunteering. I had to be uh, volunteered at, out uh, for a, a Juneteenth bike rally um, uh, with the frat, you know, um, you know, shout out to them. Uh, if you know, you know, uh, we had to be there at 6 a.m. in the morning. So, <laughs> you know, waking up at 5 a.m. to, oh, you know, waking up at 5 a.m. to, you know, uh, go do some volunteering type things, you know, with the frat, you know, 6 a.m. to about 10 a.m. did that, came home, took a uh, a nice little nap, you know. That nap looked real good. That that nap, yeah, it sure was. was uh, yeah, so um, very relaxing. Did, did yeah, did, did that little uh, nap thing, you know. Um, so after I did, did that that nap thing, went to the five k, you know, in that hundred degree Texas weather, you know, what I'm saying that that Texas weather w- wasn't looking too good, you know, as other things were looking, you know. But you know, uh, when when did that? Finished sixth in in um for my age range for the uh, men thirty to thirty nine so I, I felt good about that you know it was fifty fifth overall but from at least for my age range I, I ended up being six so I was like hey you know that's gonna be like a nice little, little barometer for me for as I keep doing more because I did mainly walk most of this one so I was like okay yeah I saw by that time <laughs> it was some walking yeah I mean at least you finished it dude you know what I'm saying so yeah because uh. I did pretty good then about that second, about a mile and a half to, to like almost to the, the, the third mile. It was mainly on gravel because they had to go through like a, a path to like the, the woods. I was like, whoa, hey, this is, if it was like, um, you know, straight concrete in the street, I was like, I probably could have did more. But I did like it because it was in the woods and it was shady and, you know, again, 100 degree weather, Texas weather, but made it through and. I was only sorry about because as soon soon as we walked out the woods, I'm like okay, we gonna we gonna we can kind of like jog, walk or whatever the rest of the way and run. We we went because uh, uh, me and our chapter president, uh, we pretty much walked it the majority of the time together. But as soon as we we walked out, got past the the finish line. Guess what happened? What happened? A nice cool breeze came through and it started getting a little bit darker and we're like, damn it, of course. It didn't right random, but it was like the, the nice cool weather and it got a little bit more shady. We're like, damn, as soon as it was over, as soon as we finished, the sun wanted to do that. And we like, damn, for real. You gonna do this to us, weather? We done did all, all this through this beaming hot sun in this Texas weather. Sweating and shit, then you're gonna cool down right when we're done. But, but it was cool, but uh, overall, it was cool though. Um, hit up um, one of the homies, um, what the um, uh, you know, the previous person's sister lives out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, 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 I hit, uh, she had saw that I was at the 5k. Oh. Uh, and so she was like, you know, uh, you can come in, um, chill and relax, you know, uh, rest up. What, why? So I went over there for about a good hour, you know, chill with her, her and the fam, and you know, um, got to do that. And so I was like, I was like, I was like that, that was cool, C- catching up and everything, you know. Um, previous person came through also. I was like, yo, what up? We had we had that nice little talking, little catch up session and all that. So that 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 was, that was cool. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> Man, it, it took me about like 10 15 seconds to realize which you're talking about. Like, huh? And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, nice, nice. and what, uh, what this morning went, went and worked, did the, the slingshot ritual gig, you know, uh, did that on, on the side, and, you know, came home, took a little nap, you know, after being bombarded with, you know, a bunch of people in my apartment, which. Yo, it's E Ray, the quasi bad guy, the Diet Coke of evil, the side god of pod. And I'm here to tell y'all come check out my show, Binge Flicks and Chill.
you never know what you're gonna get but we always talking some good shit when it comes to television and the latest movies so we want to bring y'all in we want to make sure you have a good time you learn something you laugh you cry you might stab a nigga or two i don't know what you're gonna get but that shit is popping so come check out ben splits and chill and it's me e-ray and i'm out yeah that was pretty interesting though you know, at least you got to see your previous friend, talk to him, kick it with him. That's nice. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a good time. It was a, it was a good week, a nice, productive weekend, you know. And you realize, even though I walked him, maybe that 5K, your body's just tired. In fact, uh, you know, even though we ain't going to say no names, shout out to my chapter president's wife, because the, the, uh, the bike ride that I did that morning that I volunteered for, she biked 19 miles in that right and then she did the 5k later on that day (laughs) so when i saw her i said yo you gonna be super tired tomorrow you deserve to sleep in i looked at him like hey man yeah yeah y'all gonna he was like but what about me he's like i volunteered i got up early earlier to come volunteer before i was like yeah man but you know your wife you know she just put a 19 miles on the bike and then you know she just broke and she just like walk run three miles and like yeah she's gonna be she be tired but i guess she's uh prepping for a triathlon that she's gonna do in july so i thought i was like oh okay i was like i was like that's super dope i was like good luck to that i was like ah i was like uh i would definitely love to come and check that out and support that (laughs) and see that in person i was was like to see a triathlon so i definitely told him like yo there's a way i can come and check that out I i would definitely come and support for that one thing I want to say before, uh, basically, like I said, all this week has pretty much been for me. It's preparing for the next couple of weeks when I got to leave here for a spell. We're recording this on Juneteenth slash Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the fathers. Shout out to the block, black fathers that are there. Yeah, I'm that's the block. Say, shout out. <laughs> I'm the, the block, block fathers. Shout out to my, blo- shout out to my block, block fathers. fathers. <laughs> the block fathers. I <laughs> uh, man, appreciate it, man. Look, I don't know. I, I just always have fatherly instincts and fatherly advice. I don't really be trying to be like people's dad, but then I end up like, man, I taught you because then y'all bring it up to me. Man, you taught us like we like your kids or something. I'm like my bad. I just have such sage advice. All my advice is from old people. I'm just spreading old people advice. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much what it is, I like, um, who is that? Uh, yeah, I was telling somebody, I was like, my grandma used to always say, and I tell people this all the time, she used to always tell you to be good, and if you can't be good, be careful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people that all the time, I was like, yeah, this is old, I'm just giving you old people wisdom. Because the old people may not be here to tell you. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you know. It's just recycled information. It's just good, it's just good information. You know my favorite thing to do. Um, it's not necessarily mentorship, but I'm always going to ask an older person. I'm always going to ask somebody ask somebody who's seasoned and stuff. The one thing people don't like, I'm never going to ask my peers. That's crazy. Yeah, talking to older people is, is definitely the, the vibe because that, that, that's that's yeah. Find out so nothing much information. Nothing I've told you, like nothing I've told you, is not game from somebody who is like experienced. It. <laughs> like even I'll hit you up, like, hey, are you you ah uh, man? Before I give you that, let me let me let me hit up somebody. I won't even give your name. I'll just like, say I got a got a homie who going through this. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, what would you say? If that is that situation. Okay, you there? All right, let me call him back. And I call you back. So, this is the advice I was giving. This is what you do. The end. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you're not supposed to listen to your peers because basically, you got to think of it in this perspective. Y'all are living life at the same time. Even though lives are different, somebody may have done something more than you. It's still the same thing mm-hmm. that you, that person, yeah, they only know as much as you. Y'all on the same level of thought. I don't care. Nobody said, I ain't told you nothing to somebody who at least a 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years older than me has told me. 
<laughs> nothing I've ever told you has been from like I mean it's from my experience because people love saying man shout like an old man he got a story for everything I said boy let me tell you something Cause... See, saying shit, even shit, like, boy, let me tell you something. Hey, something. That's just how I talk. I talk like old man, man. That's just boy, boy, let me tell you something. Boy, let me tell you. Let me tell you back, in, back in my day. <laughs> back in my day, boy. I got some back in my day story. <laughs> That's why I like. Oh, me, 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 me and your, me and your fellow block fathers. The block we was, fathers. Out there, <laughs> we was out there getting it. You know what I'm saying? Boy, that's yeah. gonna end up being a rap group, and I'm gonna be mad because I ain't like copyright uh, <laughs> the block fathers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, what is it? Um, that might end up. We was gonna name it something else. That might be. That might the end block. Up, that's what I said. That's right. I was already fathers. typing. Down, like no, no, the, the block, block fathers. <laughs> they're like the fathers on the block. You know what I mean? But um no, it just really like I just be like, man, yeah, like I like this happened. Like this I think like especially like the younger homies we know. I'm like, man, there's not one thing they done told me I ain't seen, heard, experienced. <laughs> so I'm like, let me tell you how that's gonna how that's gonna play out. <laughs> and they're like, man, it was just like you said, I said, bro. I said, y'all not, y'all not doing nothing new. Right, look, look, another mm-hmm. old man saying, y'all ain't doing nothing new. Yep. <laughs> which, um, <laughs> which, uh, speaking of that, that actually remind me, because I've been watching the Time Traveler's um, wife. Uh, I actually just finished watching the final, the sixth episode right before here, and it, sh- it finally showed the, the main character, Henry, uh, like, kind of reconciling his relationship with his dad. And mm-hmm. it shows the first time his found, his dad found out that uh, he was a time traveler because his dad walked into his room and he was like, Henry. And Henry, he was in his room actually sucking himself off. <clears throat> and he was like, he was like, Dad, no, no, I could, I, I couldn't explain. <laughs> and so <laughs> his dad, because all his dad did was turn around and walk, walk back downstairs. So he's like, Dad, see, let me explain. Like, I'm not gay because uh, I'm a time traveler. So, like, if anybody could have that experience, because sometimes uh, I see myself when I'm time traveling, and you would think that, you know, anybody who would want to try to be curious and experience, he's like, but I'm not gay. I want you to understand, I'm not gay. I'm a time traveler. And he's not going to see it. And he was like, okay, you're not gay. Okay. He's like, but yeah, but I'm a time traveler. I need you to understand that, you know, but I'm not gay. And he was like, son, I'm a full time musician. Everyone's gay. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, let's get to the fact that you just told me <laughs> you a time traveler. He was like, okay, I just want to understand that I'm not. He was like, okay, you're not gay. Let's get, let's get to the fact that you just said that you. I have not watched this show not once. And <laughs> you just told me the most surreal thing <laughs> about this show. And I'm just like, I don't know if I want to watch this now because I'm going to be like, what is this? <laughs> like, what am I watching right now? Why am I watching this right now? This yeah. is crazy. I, I don't understand. It's crazy. It's like, yeah, it's, it's basically like the movie just in 2022 version. I'm just split, split up an episode. I'm sorry that it was only six episodes because I was thinking, like, oh, I can't wait for the next episode. And then I saw a season fan. I was like, damn, I hope this actually gets a second season. Even yeah. though if, you, if you've seen the original movie or read the book, you kind of know how it ends. But Well,. You know what show isn't crazy like that? Miss Marvel on Disney Plus. <laughs> you know who isn't doing that? Miss Marvel isn't pleasing herself this way. Yeah. That young lady is not doing that. <laughs> he said, "We ain't got that wildness." Uh, they ain't it's, wild it's, it's, on it's, Disney it's, Plus now. <laughs> that's that's definitely for HBO Max. <laughs> that's an HBO Max content for you right there. But not like episode so far, two episodes in. Yeah, I love that second episode. Yeah. I'm hating it because this is why I binge. This is exactly why I binge watch. Because now I'm like, because <gasps> I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. It's a very big what the heck moment at the end yeah. of Miss Marvel. Um, Oh, episode two. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, this is why I don't like waiting weekly for episodes. 
Look, like, at, look at this. Now I gotta wait till next week to, to, to be find like, okay, out so who is this guy. Yeah. In relation to this person. Now yep. I gotta figure this out. Now Cause I gotta wait. Because the way they tease it, you think that person might be somebody that like, oh wait, Hunter, this don't make no sense if that person is what who I think it is. Yeah, you thinking that like this person is into Kamala. <laughs> It was all because <laughs> it's like, hey, I got you. What? How, how, I didn't even know he was. She was there. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, this is all. What? It. This went from like bad to worse. I'm telling. But yeah, so, overall the episode was great. Just getting to know the whole Muslim culture, the little teasing tidbit. I love how like the subtleties of how they even just show that there's. A variety of Muslims with uh, the the one character who who's going to, who's um, being involved with another character, and you're like, oh, that character black, okay, I see. Oh yeah, that was the first thing you said, and I said it didn't ruin it for me. I was just like, what is he talking about? Then I was like, oh, there she go. That's a beautiful sister too. Mm-hmm. And I was like. Oh. That, that's, 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 why, that's why I was like, I was like, oh damn! I was like, yeah, I did kind of spoil it, but I was like, so excited. I was like, oh yeah, I hadn't, yeah, I hadn't um, watched it yet at that point, but um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of spoilers, dang, how do I want to do a uh, Top Gun Maverick? If you ain't seen Top Gun Maverick by now, it's been out. I'm about to say like, I'm about to say it's been at least been two or three weeks. Yeah, so fuck spoilers if you because hey, I'm, trying to be, look, I'm trying to be nice about it. I'm like, okay, like it got all this critical critical acclaim and you still ain't watched it. All right, so we kind of started back going to the movies together. <laughs> we we kind of getting back to that. So I think. Was it you or me who brought up Top Gun Maverick? Was it you? It was I can't me. remember. I know we talked about it during the last episode. That's all I remember. No, and I remember we talked about it during the week. No, 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 no. It was me. It was me because I said I wanted to see it. Okay, yeah. And, and uh, you were like, oh, I kind of want to see it because I heard it was good. And I was yeah. like, and I asked you my favorite question to ask you, especially if it has anything to do with a classic movie. Have you seen the first one <laughs> and you were like no but i can watch it this week i said all right and i asked you almost every other day did you watch it all right it's almost close to the week to the weekend did you watch it and you said hey, i'm gonna i finished it up just now i was like, all right cool so we went to the movies and it is funny to say this but it actually did live up to the hype. It actually is really, really good. Yes. Top Gun Maverick is mad good. Um, I see why it's still selling out. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. I got to lose the break, break, break this down. You already know what I'm about to do first. Everything I don't like you about like the movie. movie. <laughs> first of all, I um, it was weird that Penny is in this for one reason. Penny, if you remember the original Top Gun from 1986, she was one of the women that turned him down. And that's how he ended up with, with um, the, uh, the uh, girl who worked for uh, the Pentagon. Yep. I can't think of her name right Charlie. Now. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, thank you. That's how he ended up with her. Like, they mentioned her throughout the whole movie that this Penny woman. Because Meg Ryan's character, who, another thing that made me mad, they killed her off. They killed her off. off so she died off screen. I'm like, that makes no sense. That doesn't make any sense. My man. Why she died off screen. So, so basically, what you're telling me right now, Rooster has no parents. Yeah. <laughs> now, Goose, we remember. And you know what? It took me to kind of rewatch it again. Because when Goose died, I never understood why he died from it. Then I realized 
what he said, what um, Maverick, aka Tom Cruise, said. He had to use his head to open that thing. Oh. And the impact of him oh. pulling and using his head, it crushed everything. Because you oh. gotta understand, they're going like at a high speed while he's doing that. Yeah, because even I was like, I was like, he got to pull it. I was like, I was like, what's the, the impact from the from hitting the water? I was like, yeah, it was, make no it sense. Was, yeah, no, it was the hot, it was the, the head back that he because he told me he had to use his, he had to pull and yeah. use his head, even with the helmet on, going that fast with that much impact. Because yeah, the thing that they kept saying in the movie, both movies, they said this, it feels like you're like heavy mm-hmm. up there. So that pretty much crushed his skull. Trying to do that, trying to get them up out of there. Otherwise, they would have died. Well, one of them did die, but they both would have died. Yeah, so they would have died in a burning crash. So, excuse me. So I finally realized. I'm like, oh, that's why they said when he was in front of the, in front of the um, I can't think of the word right now. In front of his um, superiors, that it yeah. wasn't his fault. Yeah, that's why. That's why it wasn't his fault because it was either that yeah. or they wouldn't have escaped. <laughs> yeah. So that's how he died. I, I never realized that. So I, because the whole thing, I'm thinking like, dang, is Rooster mad at Rooster? Can't be mad at Maverick. It's not his fault. <laughs> then I realized. Then they finally explained. Oh, it's because he pushed his papers back. Mm-hmm. Four no, years. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh, okay. That has nothing to do. Because it wraps up nicely. Because he, uh, Rooster said, when he saved um, Tom Cruise, he said, "Oh, because that's what my dad would have did. Because that was his boy." Mm-hmm. Goose and Maverick were like, hey, "Not like that." They was here. You know what I'm saying? That was his dog. You know what I'm saying? Which reminded me of my my favorite uh, one of my favorite scenes from the first one was when Meg Ryan and, and them showed up and. She was like, when they first oh, the yeah, yeah, Goosen told me this and this and this. And he was like, hey, damn, yeah, he, was, he, was, oh. he was like, girl, that's between you and, me and, and them letters and the phone calls. You done told this man everything <laughs> in front of my son, <laughs> in front of the boy. But no, like, this you is the thing. You told Mike everything, and he looking at her like, bitch, you ain't supposed to tell him that <laughs> I told you. I told you. Shit. <laughs> But nah, that's when I learned. I tell yeah, but you did time. tell me. No, I didn't. But you I did. Learned that, I learned that a while back. Hey, look, a husband gonna tell. Look, a real husband gonna tell his wife everything. If you having a bad day, guess what? She knows too. Man, these girls getting on my nerve, bro. You know, I had to break up one of them. You know what I'm saying? You know, nah, nah. So I heard you was messing around too. When when you get to the house, you're like, "What? <laughs> Who told you that? No, nah, not me." And that's not what he said. And all of a sudden, you looking crazy. <laughs> you trying to give me advice? But shot. This is what you really like, do. Like I don't want to hear her, you to tell her this. <laughs> I, I don't know why. You... I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> and you like, nigga, why are you telling me? Like, you were straight snitching on me, now. But not nah, like. Uh, I be like. One of her friends is one of the girls. My dog, shut up. There you go. Now you done ruined everything. Now she gonna tell her. Now, now, now you done blew the spot. But no. Nah, um, <laughs> but no. Nah, this the one thing that I was kind of like, what the? Because Rooster, of course, is supposed to be the boy in the movie. Yeah. In the first one in 86. I was like, wait a minute. That would make goose. And I was like, oh. The guy who plays him is 35. So you could take the creative liberty to make him a few years older. Yeah. I didn't think about it like that. I was like, wait, what? So that, I'm like, wouldn't he be like almost this age? And I thought about it. No. He would be like 30 something. So yeah, Miles Teller is 35. I don't know when his birthday is. He's probably going to turn 36. Or he probably just turned 35. I don't know which one. So I was like, name too. Miles Teller. Yeah, like a, like a jazz <laughs> or, like a Miles Teller. Teller. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Miles Teller is 35, so I was like, okay, you can take liberties of saying he's like three or four years older because um, Rooster in the movie was just a little kid. Mm-hmm. It's not like he was like a grown, you know, like, you know, it's like he was like a teenager. Then I would have been like, come on, bro. Um, <laughs> 
So yeah, that was belief. So yeah, at first I was like, man, these kids are kind of like super young. And I realized to be in the Top Gun program, you had to have done this for years. Mm -hmm. So this ain't like easy. Um, this wasn't like an easy thing. But another thing that um, I enjoyed, but it did hurt me to see, and you and me both were like, dang, was Ice and Maverick. Yeah, man. And uh, a little Easter egg about that. I was thinking that Val Kilmer was talking. That was his son. Oh. Yeah, that was his son. Um, for everybody um, who wants to know more about, you know, Val Kilmer and him having throat cancer, stuff like that, go look at Val on uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, it's a full documentary on what's going on with him. And, you know, like I said, his kid, you know, like he got his all his kids up in there and stuff like that. But yeah, um, that was his son. His son, um, his son Jack was the one that did the voice. So, okay. so yeah, that wasn't I all the time. I th if they sound just alike, I thought it was Val Kilmer for real. So, but they sound so similar that they used him for the voiceover. So those few lines y'all heard. That was his son, but yeah, he asked the question that he asked in the first movie when uh, Ice and Mav first met. Who's the better? <laughs> Who's the better pilot? Me or you? <laughs> yeah, he don't. He don't want. He's. I don't want. because he didn't answer the first time. He's. Like, I ain't answering. <laughs> <laughs> He said we were having such a, a great moment. <laughs> we have, yeah. He said we having such a good moment. I don't want to ruin it right now. <laughs> like, come, like, come on, man. Like, it's, it's me and you. Like, can we just enjoy this? Like, if we, we thinking about when we first started to how we are, like, we couldn't stand each other in the beginning, and now look at this. We this best friends, years we, we of brothers. Us. <laughs> tight, you know what I'm saying? Why you um, want to bring up oh, some old news, bro? We know you took first. I took second. But, you know, if we really, really did the shit, I would have came out first. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, on. If I wasn't last minute with him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I circled the block. You didn't circle the block. That's the reason. Because I could have got old boy. I could have got Viper first. Yeah. But I want to circle the block. So. And I'm about to get on that, too. I got, I got a whole bunch for y'all. Um. Uh, <laughs> Hangman, I don't like that it really did take to the tail end for him to learn. Because I'm like, Maverick in the first one, he he got it a little bit sooner. He didn't wait till the till the 12th hour to be like, all right, I'm going to be a good guy now. I'm going to realize that this ain't all about me. And I'm like, he could have helped them way long. They probably wouldn't have had to abandon that uh, F-18 <laughs> if he had, if they had uh, if he had learned this lesson a little bit sooner. Um, yeah, but you did kind of see it early, like a little bit earlier. Like he, he wanted to leave. Like it pretty much was. But they got to hold yeah, that suspense yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it pretty much was like like I said. The reason we liked it the most is because it kind of was like the first one for mm -hmm. modernized, but it wasn't like too like they overdo it with the with the remakes. It was if it was like you're like, dang, this is a remake, but it don't feel like one. And the reason I say it's not a it's not a, a sequel is because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all right now. A lot of people I wish who I know for a fact could have been in it. First of all, I know Tim Rob is doing that show on what's it called? Castle Castle Rock. What's mm -hmm. it called? I think it, it's some show he's doing. I think it's on Hulu. So he's very alive and well. He could have definitely done. <laughs> he could have definitely done uh the movie. I hate he wasn't in it. AKA Merlin. Who was who replaced Goose in the thing? Who replaced Goose in the fighter pot in the fighter jet with Maverick? So I'm thinking, dang, come on, they can have Merlin and Maverick, bro. At least Merlin come up like, ah man, you know, I done, you know, I didn't stay captain like you did. I went ahead and went to the highest thing. Uh who else? Now Tom Scarrett, I already know Viper. Viper old, but they could have had him like a 
five-star general show up for a second. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Sundown. They could have made Sundown paybacks uh father or something like that. Okay, yep, that's about the TV series. Yeah. They could have did that, man. They could have made yeah, they could have made Sundown. I never liked his name, no way, because Sundown for a brother's problematic. But they could have made Sundown payback dad or something. Oh, that's my dad. You know what I'm saying? I would have been like, all right, all right, yeah, we need some more than just Rooster's connection to a previous person. But you said you uh you told me off mic, uh, you said you had something to where they didn't want to make it too much yeah. adding the past. And I was like, but a lot of these didn't make sense that these people weren't in it. Like, you really had to not what, like, I'll say this about Top Gun Maverick. Is it'll be good if you watch the 86 uh, movie, but they've made it to where you necessarily don't have to. Yeah, that's, that, that makes a good sequel slash reboot, whatever. But You're for like, me? <laughs> but for me? <laughs> Yeah, I was uh-huh. like, because uh, folks, if you if you've listened to a previous episode, Shad usually has some big issue with the the. If, even if the, I can't connect it, it don't make sense to me. <laughs> like I'm looking, I, I look don't talk to him about any Marvel or DC movie that don't. Like, when I see Love and Thunder, I'm an, I know I'm have something to say. I'm just glad Boston's in it. That's the only thing I'm really happy for. I'm glad that Boston's in, and she better say something. I swear, I swear to you, then I'm, I'm gonna have something. Everybody talk about her. They let Tessa Thompson talk, but not Boston. All right, then. Got something to say about this. But other than that, can't wait to see how this goes. Boy, you, I know you can't wait for me to see Love and Thunder. You like, I wonder what was wrong with this one. I thought, oh, let me tell you. Because yeah, <laughs> I can just see now. Oh shit! I thought that was great. It was this and this, and then you're like, "Yeah, no, that was wrong. Nope, that, that didn't happen. Wrong. That no, made no sense." And that, and then I, I said that shit. She should have said something. She did <laughs> fucking say shit because <laughs> that's how I look. She had three lines. People. And folks be getting on me because I'm overly critical of movies and things like that. But like, nah. If you really love like movies, of course I'm never gonna sit there. Ooh, it was good. Like, sit like action wise, cinematically. They did top, like the only thing that was funny about the uh, football scene is that it was basically paying homage to the volleyball scene from the first one. Yeah. Um, what was funny, if you look at it and really analyze it, guess who was the new goose? It's obvious. Wait, was it this one? No. No, Rooster oh. actually flew his own by itself. Oh, the new goose for uh it was uh Bob. Yeah. Because <laughs> exact same thing. Everybody else had their shirts off. Bob had a shirt on. Yep. If you remember the original, everybody had their shirts off. Bob had a I mean Goose had a shirt on. <laughs> that's all I was like. Yeah, that's all I was like, yeah, but they how they did this one. <laughs> how long has he been? Much. How long have you been there? I've been here the whole time. The whole time. What, what's your name? Bob. No, like your call name. Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you're, you're my guy? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, shout out to Bob. Bob was uh, yeah. probably one of the most underrated characters in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, like, like I said, Jay that's Ellis. Why I, all, that's why I wouldn't mind another one, just to see how, like, even just their two relationship. Like just, Bob progresses, yeah, yeah. Well, her, yeah, her and Bob. But now, shout out to our guy who was in it, Lawrence. Yeah, AKA team Jay Lawrence. Ellis. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag um, Team Lawrence. Hashtag. We still Team Lawrence and, and Insecure Ben Over, but now Jay mm-hmm. Ellis did a good job as um, payback. Yeah. Um, we wish we we wish he got a little bit of the action. <laughs> a little more action because he had to follow behind Rooster and I was like I know half of it like in real life I know Payback would have just been like you know what 
I'm gonna fly. I was like, I'm gonna risk everything and fly over and pass Rooster. <laughs> Come on, dude, fly faster. Mm. He was up there like, come on, you're gonna get us killed, bro. Um, but nah, like I said, he yeah, I would, yeah, I wish they hadn't had him like just slowed up my rooster in that movie. <laughs> That's like that made me mad. I was like, yo, bro, a real brother would have been like, hey, we just gonna have to fight out these <laughs> we just gonna have to fight these things in the middle of this yeah. while they go past the thing. Hey, they gonna make it. All we gotta do is finish off the job when we get that way. Bye. Yeah. Boom. But I will but, say, I, I'm, I'm glad he made the uh, the final cut because I, I thought he wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh no, nah, this is gonna be kind of like the end of where uh, we see Jay uh, Ellis. You pay, uh, oh, you thought payback and uh, because he had a, another guy. Was it Coyote? I think I think that was Coyote. Oh, was it Coyote? It was payback. It was payback. And hold on. Of course, I can't look at the movie, but I can like, look at the cast. It was no payback and fanboy, fanboy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was payback and fanboy. Um, and I thought that was a funny name. I was wondering, is it because was he a fanboy of Maverick or was he a fanboy of the Top Gun program? Like, I was wondering, I was like, that's a pretty funny name. Yeah. I wonder how he got fanboy because they said, you know, you know, we explained, you know, we already knew like in the armed forces how you get your nickname is through basic training and yeah. what you may have done in the middle of that or something like that. So I always wondered, because they only explained the one person's name. Oh, yeah. And that, was, and that was Hangman's. Because yeah, it, he'll leave, your yeah, he'll leave you hanging. Yeah, he will leave you hanging. So, And he just, yeah. Come hang me. That's not a good thing, bro. <laughs> and we were all, yeah, they were all like, that's not... Nothing has been positively said about you. So, like, I had to realize why they call him Maverick. Like, the lone one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he does everything. He's dolo, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even with Goose, he was dolo in his mind. You know what I'm yeah. So, but, um, no, like, Top Gun Maverick, there's a lot of people, I'm like, dang, I know this person's still alive. <laughs> like, I wasn't, like, of course, I wasn't expecting, um, I wasn't expecting his uh, the original like Charlie to be in it. I wasn't expecting mm-hmm. her to be in it because if you look at her and you look at Tom Cruise, yeah, that mean Maverick being them messed around and married that woman. But mm-hmm. Penny Benjamin, yeah, Jennifer, uh, what's her name? Jennifer Connelly. Jennifer Connelly. That was a good choice. Yeah, that was good. Don't, don't break her heart again. That was funny when he jumped out the window. <laughs> Uh, what were some of your favorite parts, bro? Uh, that would say one that that part right there that was one, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah boy, you was <laughs> laughing because he he really was trying to sneak out that window. He just stood there, and you called it too. You were like, I bet she's right there. Mm-hmm. And she was looking right at him, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like we grow. I'm like, girl, go, go to your room. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Talking about you did you did you cook? Yeah, I cooked. Mm. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> mm. I'll bring you some food. Just go upstairs. And plus, I was thinking, what if like wasn't like his motorcycle or something outside? I'm like, nigga, I know you in here. Because <laughs> I was thinking too, like, how else did he get there? I know you didn't park in the back. Right. It's like, <laughs> nigga, not some random motorcycle that's just sitting out. Oh, Mary's motorcycle's here. No, he must be with my mom. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because it's me, like, just go grab me a bowl of cereal, whatever food my mom done made, and go to my room and just say, fuck it. Yeah, that's no business. <laughs> or just chill downstairs on, on the couch. It's like, hey, you know, whatever, so I'll fall asleep. And then he walk out, later, Maverick. <laughs> huh, what? You oh, hurt really? me? Yeah. Like, later, later, my dude. But, uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes. Um, let's see. The, uh, the push-ups, because, fuck, it was all paybacks fuck. That yeah. Was fun. Yeah. Two hundred yeah, let, let's make a bet. Two hundred push ups. I was like, oh this this is about to be bad. Everybody I'd be like, fuck payback. I'm making you fucking <laughs> take all my fucking push ups. That was funny. Making bets. Due to the fact shit. that they did not realize how good he was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the man just went to like past Mach 10. In the latest uh, fighter jet, 
you're not beating this dude, bro. <laughs> He's been doing this for over like almost four decades. You're not mm -hmm. beating this man. So right, he's. I was just doing like shit for like NASA and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think a little dog fight <laughs> is hard? <laughs> like yeah, yeah, I like. Yeah. I like in that uh, moment he was Viper. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, just overall, just especially because the fact that I watched the movie like a day or two before we even saw, it, I just like all the little just nods and homages to the first one especially since they're oh. just so fresh fresh in my brain um i know another one of your favorites um the re the record player at the bar oh yeah that, that, that was a, see a nice little homage to the first one if you did if you didn't people it's like the movie came out in 86 my man hit the number four 86 it was like yeah like, that, was, that was cool you know man? yeah so yeah, like you had to catch the little Easter eggs here and there. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm definitely would be interested in a another one, maybe the third one, kind of either showcases like how all the younger ones get, um, met met each other, or just a show like an, another mission, and maybe just have flashbacks. So like, yo, just remind us like when we first like uh, met each other, or kind of you you see why they talk about Rusa the way the way they they do or stuff like that. Like okay. Let's, uh, you know what I want, and I told you about Tom Cruise. Oh, was, he said my man better be a motherfucking captain and, and shit. Hey, yeah, I was like, dude, you better not be in that plane. On if there is a third one, you better not be in that plane with them. You better not be. We're sending you up, Maverick. No, no, you're not. <laughs> you're not. He should be pushing papers by now. He should be giving orders, not taking them at this point. Yeah, it's like the next one. It should be you have very little scenes, <laughs> Tom. Thank Cruise. you. <laughs> like we may see you like a couple times, but other than that, it should be the young folks. Like they now, yeah. like Goose is the main dude. Like I you mean, Goose is the main dude. Goose yeah. is the main dude, man. Because he got, and that's another thing I like. Miles Teller did. Um, he had the mustache like his dad. Yeah, yeah. And and wearing, wearing the Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, wearing the Hawaiian shirts and playing. Uh, Goodness gracious. This is great balls of fire. Pot. <laughs> Just like in the original. Uh but in the original they it was weird. Because Tom Cruise um and Rooster. Uh I believe yeah, um real name Anthony Edwards. Him and Anthony Edwards. They sung about two or three songs in that movie. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the first one he sung in the yeah, when, um, it, when, when bar, he first met Charlie. When yeah. first met Charlie, he was singing. He sung to her. Because that that was originally what the song I thought they was gonna do. I thought yeah, they were do that originally. But then you realize it was not real. The only love interest was Penny, Penny and Benjamin, yeah, and uh, Maverick. So yeah. it was like, yeah, there would be no reason to sing like, to yeah, anybody like, else. Yeah. Like who are they gonna sing to? <laughs> Exactly. So Bob just start start singing to um Phoenix. <laughs> That's what you know what? And and she'd be like, uh You and me were waiting for that. We was like Cause I could Phoenix my Cause I was like, like she's gonna break his heart when she be like I I like her. <laughs> Cause I thought they were oh, no, no, no. Phoenix no Phoenix would Phoenix came off very feminine. She came off as a, like, you know. She just knows that's not good. <laughs> that's not that's not like, a good thing. Like Bob, just do your job, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good. Yeah, that's. <laughs> she was like, you know, I don't do that work stuff. I don't do that work stuff. Um, to circle it back to real life stuff, it never goes well in the armed forces. It very, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And also, there's a lot of problematic things that go on in the armed forces with women in the in uniform look it up um but speaking of maverick in the midst of all of this something happened the mavericks made a trade and the mavericks proved me right when you asked me how do i feel about the draft and i the first thing i told you was they are not going to use that 26 pick yep <laughs> that's all i'm gonna do yeah, they, they See, don't like rookies. They are not. It's not that they don't like rookies. It's just that I don't know. Well, Carlisle didn't like rookies. Oops, did I say that? 
Um, <laughs> but when it comes to scouts, I don't know who the scouts are. No offense to the scouts. Um, but all offense to the scouts because I don't think they're doing their job if they really don't know who's um they really don't know who's like the best pick at this i mean there's mock drafts there's paperwork everywhere dude you can do your research you can work you can work anybody out even sharif o'neill got a workout you know what i'm saying all right so you know i'll never understand that but how i honestly feel about the trade is i've always liked christian wood so i'm not upset about it i'm not it's not like a bad it's not a bad move at all yeah, um it was the mirror you that had him on fantasy this year wasn't it i think i believe i did yeah i, like, I, yeah, I did was, i did i did i had christian wood uh he traded you gave him to me you traded him for i traded uh, him okay that's I was what like, happened yeah, yeah that's that's what <laughs> and that just Folks, that just shows you how much I paid into basketball. How the when I saw his name, that was that was the first connection. I thought I was like Christian Wood, Houston Rockets. Hold on, fantasy. I remember having him in fantasy or something like that. I know I saw his name. Man, uh, I was like, we were making so many friendly and, trades. I was like, yeah, I was like, me and Shaw's teams were the only teams I really paid attention to. So I was like, that's the only reason I remembered his name. Man, we were making, we made so many friendly trades. Cause I know he don't pay attention to basketball like that. <laughs> and I was like, he's actually good. I wonder if he'll give me him. I was like, I'll make this package and see if he'll accept it. He did. And I was like, all right. I um, mean, I told you the only reason I wanted him because he was the only Rockets player actually playing. And he was on the Rocket. I, I got every other Rocket that I liked. My love for the Rio Grand Valley Vipers took a lot of my judgment because I um, I don't really like the Rockets as a team. I'm not a fan of them. I like the Mavericks. And uh, people get on me because I also like the Dubs. The only two teams I watched growing up. So those are two teams that I like to this day. But I'm more of a Mavericks fan because I live here. I mean, y'all look, look at the freaking logo for the pod, y'all. That's Mavericks inspired, y'all. That's the Mavericks. Did I, did I pick? I could have picked blue and gold, but did I? No. Pick Mavericks colors. So anyway, um, yeah, just pretty much. I was like, okay, then the Green's gonna be good. KPJ gonna be decent, and Christian Wood gonna be decent because I knew they were shutting down um, John Wall yet again. I kept putting John Wall on my team and taking him off because <laughs> I was hoping because he wanted to play. So I thought maybe he'd get activated. Um, the one, the one smart thing I did, and we're gonna get off of fantasy. I held on to Kyrie Irving, and he actually played. Yeah, but I remember when you picked him up, like <laughs> you like, wait, what? I was like, he's gonna play. He ended up getting cleared to play. I told you. I said there, there was just this weird thing because, uh, we look. I'm gonna jump back and forth between political and sports right now. I know in this climate. The mass thing and basically everything else going on was going to be very limited. Because mm-hmm. I know the attention span of this country is very, very low. <laughs> because COVID is still here. COVID is still yeah. getting people. Yeah. And we're never went away. Yeah. We, we just take it. Basically, we just rolling the dice at this point. <laughs> Which, <laughs> That's all you uh, do when you go outside now. We're just rolling the dice. Which kind of related? Uh, I don't know if you've seen. You probably saw it by now. The that Ru that RuPaul clip. <laughs> Y'all no. talking about? Um, it was like a clip of him. Uh, he was on a uh, James Court uh, Quarter. How, how was it? James Court uh, Morgan. Yeah, that that guy. He was on his his show. And the he British was, guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> All I remember was uh, his in the car sessions. I love those. But um, he basically was like, "Yo." Y'all talking about um, your kids um, going to drag shows when y'all really need to get back on this gun issue, like with all these these, these school shootings and stuff. And I was like, see, that's that's what oh, no, like, in the public. Hey, I say at the end of the day, it's always gonna be like this. Like I was like, um, might as well do that plug talk real quick. Go listen to when I talked to uh, Taylor Trammell. Yeah, and on the solo pod, 
like how the Mariners address things. Like, matter of fact, you know what I got? Um, I, I compare it like this. From the Rangers, I got an email about what's been going on with the prospects and everything like that. The MLB wire for them. You know what I, the email I got from the Mariners outside is just, you know, what's going on with the team? Happy Juneteenth. That's in Seattle, Washington. Mm -hmm. Why am I getting happy Juneteenth from Seattle, Washington when Juneteenth happened in Texas? Texas? Yep. And Texas Rangers did not acknowledge Juneteenth today. <laughs> Why is that? Um, if you listen to the episode, I did explain. Yeah. Yeah. Because even Houston does stuff like they had the orange shirts. Uh, they talked about, you know, every, you know, all the political things going on. I think they even changed their um, logo to a Pride logo for this month. And I'm like, the Rangers don't do none of that. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> they don't do none of that. And they talking about, why would you really support them like that? That's why. Could have had it. It's not that I said it. Kind of had a, 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 a Juneteenth-inspired game or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was like, yeah, it has nothing to do with um, um, the LGBTQ stuff. That, that, that's, that's, that's dope. But when... I, you want me to support a team? I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna think Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. Here's a uh, strawberry soda for your troubles. Just nothing, right? Just not, not even a strawberry soda for your troubles. Nothing. You just gonna go about your day. <laughs> like y'all ain't got no black fans. I'm like, I'm sure you do. You got black players on the team. Shout out to Taylor Hearn. You know what I'm saying? You got black. <laughs> it's like. But you're not representing. It. It's like you, uh, you really, you really only gonna be able to ignore it for so long. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, that's that's how I feel about when it comes. To Even if you just do it like a lot of these other companies, just do it just to say you did it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, Rangers don't even do that. Like I can go on their stuff right now. Ain't no Happy Juneteenth thing. We're gonna at least look like we care. <laughs> I we just, like... even if it's just for the money ploy, like. We look like we care. We just wanted the money. Lie to me, lie to me, man. Mm -hmm. But no, nah, not them guys. No. We just them. completely ignore it. Uh, let me see. Happy, yeah, yeah, but they put a Happy Father's Day post up. <laughs> they put a Happy Father's Day. <laughs> put a Father's Day post is up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> just, Happy, just to make this more funny for you. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers on our on our squad. The Mariners, and they still did the Father's Day. <laughs> we we did both. We celebrated both. Well, look what else they did. But you want me to say go Rangers? Matter of fact, you know the other thing they did? They had a Negro League night not so long ago, cause um for the Seattle Steelheads, who was a mm -hmm. Negro to come on, bro. But y'all tell me why and I rule for the Rangers like that. All right, bro. Yeah, you look, ask me again. <laughs> <laughs> but now that's the thing I say, like it, especially in this state, it's just so many things that need to be addressed. That are not being addressed that I find real goofy. Um, <laughs> you just gotta shake it. You, you gotta laugh yeah. it off. You gotta laugh it off. But nah, uh, yeah, before, you got a point. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that, but that is, look, 2022, that's where we are in the world, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> things, stranger Man. things have happened. In stranger things have happened. Uh, speaking of the Doves, who I brought up earlier, yeah. they won, just like I said they would. And please listen to Ivy's podcast, where I correctly <laughs> predicted that how it would happen. Mm -hmm. I said, if they win game four, they're going to they're win in six. six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you literally said, like, hey, if this happens, yeah, they're going to go to get, they're going to get game seven. They still going to win in game seven, but if this happens in and four, they gonna win in six, and they did just that. 
They did good. No, I said season six. If yeah, because that pull that up. If they would have pulled off because y'all record- in game four. Yeah, because that was like right before y'all four game. That four, was right before game four. Yeah, because you were like, hey, if Boston wins tonight, Warriors win in seven, and I think you said no, no. Warriors- I said the Seas would have won in six. The Warriors would have gave them probably one more. Yeah, they probably won five. And then they would have took six, which was in Boston. Yeah. Boston, I would have been like, yeah, the momentum would have been a little bit lower to the point. They would have tried to fight back. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I predicted that would have went. But what actually happened was the SMH moment. I said, all the Warriors need is blood in the water, and they're going to mm-hmm. attack and that's what they did. <laughs> yeah. All they needed was blood in the all they needed. All they needed was a little blood in the water. Just sniff it a little bit. And I said, mm-hmm. once they won four, I said, oh, it's over. Yep. In their minds, oh, it's it, it might as well have been zero to zero. All we need to do is win two. Mm-hmm. That's how the Warriors mentality is totally different from a lot of other basketball teams in terms of the playoffs. And I will say, Andrew Wiggins was the MVP of the series. I definitely will say that. Um, They had to give it to Steph. Yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, I was like, they had to give it to him. I was like, but (laughs) in the the locker room, I was like, hey, you know it was Drew, right? (laughs) Because let me tell you something. He was having a double double like almost every game. But um, I say that they had to give it to him because of what I um, have been saying. And a lot of people are offended by me saying this, but hey, I'm just gonna keep saying it. Oh yeah, because that was what uh, what I said in the group chat. You were like, uh, "He's him, 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 Del, him, Del, uh Stephen Curry." Oh yeah, him, Del, Stephen Curry. Um, that's not that's all I was talking about. But at this point in um, in their careers, like I keep telling y'all, um, Wardell started in '09. That's 13 seasons. Um, even the OGs like Timmy, Cole, rest in peace, the Mamba, Dirk, they said, eh, you ain't necessarily going to see a lot of guys make it to 20 no more. I don't see the, um, I don't see Dre, Clay, and Steph playing for another seven, eight seasons. Yeah, I don't either. I don't see that happening. Um, Especially like when you look at how these kids are now, the game is way faster. So you telling me you gonna be knocking on forty, trying to run with these kids? Everybody ain't LeBron. Even LeBron can't do that no more. LeBron thirty eight. LeBron can't do that no more. LeBron said way more than I've ever seen him sit before mm-hmm. in this season, and um, that's just what I'm telling you, bro. It's like the young man. It's like the NBA is doing a young man's game. Like Luca, yeah, Luca a little slow. But he got skills, not not skills, skills. You gotta say it different. He got skills. You see, you see when he shoot that, <laughs> like how uh, Adrian Peterson said that one time. How he throw that ball? No, nah, I'm saying how he shoot that ball. <laughs> it's totally different. It's different. Uh, all caps. It's different. You know what I'm saying? So then, like I said, you got Jalen. Um, how uh, my boy uh, in Boston, Jason Tatum. Just you got my boy Jason Tatum. Uh, like he gonna get one. I ain't worried about yeah. him. Uh, he gonna get one. I saw the day. Uh, I was gonna, that reminded me. I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about these guys with this, at least of these last two finals? Two guys who. Get compared to being young Kobe versions, just uh, you know I hate not, that. It's like that's all I'm gonna say. That. You know I hate that. Yeah, I was like, got one guy in Phoenix. They they was doing all that, and I knew he wasn't. Them. And I told you he wasn't. Yeah, well, no, go ahead, go ahead tell, no, go ahead and tell him. Uh, what I, every time they kept saying that for the past two years, what I kept saying about uh Devin Booker, what I kept saying, he's not him. No, 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 no. I'll say exactly what I said. He's not that. Oh yeah, he's not that guy. Yeah, he's not that guy. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. He is not that guy. (laughs) I kept telling y'all, he is not that guy. And then now we got Jason Tatum. (laughs) 
It's just it just yeah, makes that, 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 that Jason Tatum, it's, Jason Tatum uh, what it is. He's not the next code. He's not the next code, but he's he's the first him. He's the first JT. And I was like, just stay, man, stay Taco J, bro. Stay Taco, stay Taco J, bro. We don't want you to be the next code, bro. I understand. I miss Mamba too. But you not you not him, dude. Yeah. And it's okay. And don't he post had, any more text messages. <laughs> he's the super man. It's like a, like people mocking me for this, but I don't care. Dirt, cold, you ain't gonna see that no more. And stop mm. doing it to these little white boys too. Stop saying they're gonna be the next dirt. They are not. Right. You're not seeing that no. You ain't seeing that again, bro. You are not seeing a dirt. You not seeing dirt and Kobe again. That ain't happening no more. You are not gonna see some lanky dude don't bring himself up from barely getting off the bench to thirty thousand points. You are not gonna see that again. You not gonna see that again. You not gonna see a kid who been all around the world with the ball in his hand, make it to Philly and make a, his mark on this world, and more than just basketball. You not gonna see that again. Stop playing it. Stop playing these kids like that. Let these kids be themselves. Mm-hmm. This, like, I said, and I and folks and they, keep and they, laughing when I and say they be this. saying it too. Like, yo, I'm like, stop. We not y'all old like not y'all old people. Like, we are just. We, stop comparing us to them. We we just the, we the future. We I am me. I'm not him. I'm a, Don't compare me to him. I'm just me. I'm going to hit you with this. I'm going to hit you with this. I don't even think I want to end the episode of this. I want to get on one, one more topic before we get up out of here. How many people did they say were the next Jordan? And where are they now? No, they did. Yeah. They, it was it was a lot. Yeah. Harold Miner, a whole bunch of them. Where they at? Yeah. Not in the league. <laughs> and they won in. The, and when they did get to the league, they won in it long. Mm-hmm. Stop it. Stop. Stop with the comparisons. And the ones they do compare, they like that are still in the league. They second, third, <laughs> and guys on, on their team were probably then jumped around a bunch of teams. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Next, LeBron. That's what y'all said about Zion. Zion gained all that weight and didn't even play last season. Come on, man. Stop comparing. Look, the ghost of the ghost for a reason. It's unattainable. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, Michael B. Jordan idolizes Denzel. But I know in his right mind, he know he ain't Denzel. You know what I'm saying? They put mm-hmm. it in that perspective. As much as I love De Niro and Pacino, I'm not De Niro and Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just go up and do what they do. You know what I'm saying? So you got to break them things down. I'm not an actor anyway, but I'm just saying, like, as much as I love them, I just can't walk up there and go, oh, man, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> yeah. go over and re- recreate heat. <laughs> because I, I just love them so much. Nah, when you you gotta stay in your lane for something. You gotta stay in your lane. Jamie Foxx know he ain't Denzel. Will know he ain't Denzel. <laughs> Denzel is Denzel. He the go yeah. for a reason. Every director out there, you not Spielberg, and it's okay. Ryan Coogler ain't trying to be Spielberg. He just trying to be Ryan Coogler. He trying to be Ryan Coogler. He ain't trying to be Scorsese, bro. <laughs> Let the ghost be the ghost. Francis Ford Coppola. He ain't trying to be him, man. Francis Ford, Ford Coppola is such a goat that his son go by the name Nick Cage, bro. <laughs> Leave the ghosts alone. You, they ghosts. They ghosts for a reason. Stop it. Boy, that was boy, that was good. <laughs> I need boy, I need to write, I need to put that on the shirt. Francis Ford I, I, I was, is such a goat. His son changed the name to Nick Cage. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's facts though. I was thinking about you know, you know uh, that though, right? Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's but I, I, I was thinking about uh, cause I started thinking about um, guys they compared to Jay Z, like thinking like Memphis was to be the next Jay Z. 
He even got a couple nephews <laughs> to try to rap. <laughs> and that's the thing about me and Bleak. His two best songs both feature holes. And the second one, he wasn't even on. Yep. Dear Summer, there's not a uh, another from Bleak. Not an ad lib or nothing. Just all hoes. Ho was so good on that song, he came back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave the goat. Let the ghost be the goat, man. Yeah. Let the goat. The ghosts are the ghosts for a reason. Again, the ghosts are the ghosts for a reason. They did it so well. Michael Jackson. And then I'm really done after this one. It's good. You know who you know who really Usher was trying to be? Y'all kept calling him Mike. Usher was trying to be Bobby Brown, bro. <laughs> he was trying to be Bobby Brown. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to be Mike. Usher was trying to be Bobby. Yeah, he was trying. Now he was dancing, but Bobby was dancing and stuff too. Chris Brown, now Chris Brown, yeah, he was trying to be Mike. Mm -hmm. You see how that happens? Man. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about uh, the. The blood stuff and the other, you know, that he is towards the ladies. Mm. No, I'm talking about he ain't put out now. That's why he keep putting out albums with 50 songs on them, hoping that he can catch a, a thriller off a of 10 of. Yep. Come on, man. Let the ghosts be the ghosts. Let let if you if they great at something, don't don't put pressure on a kid to be that. Come on. And that's where a lot of it comes. That that pressure. That pressure. Like, stop putting these, this pressure on, on these folks. Like, come on, just let them be them. Look yeah, at Michael Jordan's like son. Uh, Michael Jordan's sons. And he back doing shoes. Leave that, leave that alone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But speaking of goats, man, Beyonce is yeah. back. I'm July already, uh, I'm already saving up my money for uh, the them three thousand dollar tickets. Uh, <laughs> check, check me out. Um, I think I've said this on the show before. I went to On The Run 2. I'm thinking I'm going to be on some right, Radio Raheem stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Beyonce get up there. Kills it. And I'm looking at the women around me. Like, oh, my God. Y'all want to lie. She is the that, that, baddest to ever do it. My God. Yep, that was, uh, that now, was I'm me. Now, I'm just Beyonce. Doing that uh, cause I always tell people when I went to the first on the run, that's what had, had me because I went with my uh sister and ex fiance at the time. I, I treated them both to uh day tickets, <laughs> and I was like, you know, I'm just here for hope, whatever. First off, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That one was good, like Chloe and Bailey. You had uh DJ Khaled, who I was mm -hmm. happy to see, and all of a sudden they come out, yeah, because oh. uh, Woo. I remember. Well, well, first I was gonna say the the commercial because the first when the lights went down I'm like, oh yeah, it's about to go, and then it was a commercial for Beyonce. <laughs> I was like, hold on, wait, <laughs> and then the lights came back, and I'm like, okay. Then when it finally got started, and they came out and did their thing, and, and about halfway through, I looked at both of them and said, oh, I get it now. I I understand. This woman is amazing. <laughs> I love this. I was like. Seeing this in person and imagine it was like, oh. Speaking of that, she she's her. Terms of now, in terms said, of Michael she, Jackson, I was like, she's her. It's probably Beyonce, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a woman replaced it was like that's about just Michael Jack doing Mike Jack doing it. Yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if I tweeted around the time like, yo, I understand now. I see why y'all love her. I see why she's great, and also. This is not a Beyonce and Jay Z tour. This is a Beyonce featuring Jay Z tour. <laughs> I was like, this, this nigga is just the the side. The side. Hey, oh, oh, you want to come out for a couple songs? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. You want you want to do the songs we got together? I mean, I'll I'll give you a couple of them. Yeah, we can do we can do that. But just remember, this is my show. <laughs> but yeah, I I, I just remember leaving that that, that first one like understand. I mean, be Beyonce, my God. Man. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget that. I was like, "Now this is crazy." Mm -hmm. <laughs> now and that, I, I was just still uh, one of her playlists the other day on on title her uh, her rap performers ones where she be getting them bars. I was like, "Damn, 
I love cocky Beyonce when she just spit and talk her shit like, yeah, I'm the only one in the room. I'm the yeah, one, I ain't number two. All right. Look, that ain't what she said. Um, but <laughs> I don't know what you saying, but that ain't what she said. But anyway, <laughs> I'm playing. But not nah, like for real. Yeah, she come back, but uh, to another person. You talking about people that compare to hoes? <sighs> Aubrey dropped a uh, house album, y'all. <laughs> That's what happened. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. Right. Call it what it is. We dropped a house album and everybody was mad. Uh, now how I feel about it, 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 it's stupid to drop a house album with just one rap song on it. <laughs> and I was like, like folks, because I, I, I finally listened to it yesterday. This is not a bad album. It's just if you're not into house music, you just you're not gonna like it. You, you're not. Gonna and like I know it. everybody cares about house music. Um. Yeah, we know it's black music, but this just sucked. I was like, it wasn't like I said. It, eh, I won't say it was trash. I just like I said. I just said it was in the vein of this. Okay, okay, I got the perfect sentiment for this. That's not what you do as a hip hop artist for a surprise album. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You set the tone for stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You don't surprise. You can't. You if you're gonna surprise us as Drake, we want a hip hop album. All you did was put on uh, the man we put little barrettes in your head, and then went out here and dropped the house out. After you spit a cold verse on Jack Harlow's album, right? You don't do that. So it was the it wasn't the product, it was the presentation. Yep, I would definitely say that it was the presentation. Like if he just like slow burned it, like like dropped the uh feeling again video like a, a month or two ago, just like, okay. This is the vibe we go with, okay. And then nah. maybe dropped a second video or whatever, like, okay, we really okay. Okay, I see I see it. So that way when you get the full project, it's like, oh yeah, boom. Like okay, this is where we at. Okay, he 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 prepped us for it, but I don't know. It's like folks, this is not a bad album. Everybody like, oh, this is bad. This is trash. No, we just we grew up in America and over there in Canada and over there in Europe. This is what they vibe to. He said it was a um um it was an honor of Virgil. Virgil worked for models and shit. So yeah. this is the type this is the type of shit that the, the models walk down say, the runway to. Uh, yeah. uh good old Canadian house vibe, you know. But yeah. other than that, it's yeah, not it's a bad just, album. It just it was I right. as yeah, a house fan. Good. I like house music. It was I. Right. It's a good attempt. Sounds like an <laughs> even as someone who I wouldn't say I'm not a fan, it's just uh I just don't listen to it. It's just it was about five or six tracks on there. I was like, "This is cool. I can see. I'm gonna. I can see myself listening to this again. I, I'm gonna get an album like another uh, run through. I probably gonna get past a, a second full run through. But other than that, you know, you know, I'm circling the block on you right now. Remember, I told you, I was one of the people that actually went to the dancery <laughs> to dance. I actually went to the club to dance. Not to mean mug. Not to pop bottles. Not to throw money. Not to hoo, 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 with my homeboys all night. I went to dance. I went to do, do, do. Pretty girl dancing. Mm-hmm. Dancing with her. So yeah, I like house music. Because yeah, when they dance, they dance. Mm-hmm. When they move and they groove. And I, I love that. He only had a few tracks that was like two minutes and two two and a half minutes long, but like a lot of the songs, especially uh, I think it was the the feel the feeling and it like switched beats and stuff. And I was like, yeah. I was like oh, I was like, oh, we on to the second song, and then I was like, I looked at the, I looked at my phone. Oh, this is still the same track. This has been going for like eight minutes long. <laughs> Shit. It was like it was, it was a few tracks that was like three, four, five minutes long. I was like, okay, 
Drake, could you be the one to kind of get people to want to go back to making full songs? Like, could this be a possibility? Like, we, we can get folks to be like, no, we're going to actually give you back to a three, three and a half minute song, a four minute song. Because I miss the bridge. Do you miss the bridge shot? Because I miss the bridge. No one, no one has a bridge anymore. With no bridge. Ain't no bridge. Take it to the bridge. You rarely hear that now. Yeah. That's why. Um, Take it to the but, bridge. But yeah, I think only what Bruno Mars and Anderson Park doing that. Anderson Park doing that now. Uh, <laughs> and only two, they only two bring it, take it to the bridge. Speaking of um, other albums that came out, Westside Boogie's album is solid. If you were mad at Aubrey, go listen to Westside Boogie. Right. And Soldier Boy actually rapped well. He got his one for the decade. You know, he only does one good song every decade. This is one. That, that's because I started listening to that one uh, earlier today too. That was actually the last song I heard was was that one. As I was listening to them, like I was like, oh nope, because I was in my car uh, headed to go do the swing shot, and I was like, hold up, before I get out the car, this is the next song I gotta listen to. This I was like, if I if I'm gonna stop pauses for later, <laughs> I gotta at least hear this one. Yeah, hear, gotta hear Draco first. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, because I, I meant to text you about, uh, about that because that was around the time when I text you about Happy Father's Day. Because <laughs> I, like, <laughs> uh, I, I was I was headed to work r- right then there, but when I when I pulled up, um, that song was just about to play. And I'm like, hold on, wait, let me listen to this before I walk upstairs. <laughs> I was like, okay. So he got good. his one in. Mm-hmm. Well, our last, I already know our last music notes. I already know our last music notes. Speaking of people who were popular around uh, a certain time period, the Versus is back. Yes, with none other than uh, one of our favorite artists, and we have never been ashamed to say he's one of our favorites. That we are still rooting for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, about to come out with a book too. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely about to check that. Yeah, out. That, that unbothered. But yeah, a night of R&B this upcoming Thursday. I can't wait for this because this is I haven't looked really looked forward to a, a versus battle. Well, I was looking forward to eight ball and uh, MJG and UK. I just don't like the fact that they promoted it like two days before the freaking battle yeah. aired. But I haven't been this excited since um, Bone Thugs and Harmony and um, Three, Six. Three Six Mafia. I was like, other than that, I was like, no real battles are just caught my eye but this this is not an R&B oh this is gonna be amazing especially this this pre-battle this I'm look I'm looking for this pre that that pre-battle Ray J and Bobby V I'm gonna get to see Ray J say if I had one wish of you my friend Yo, yeah, I, I don't know if you, I don't know who sung it that worse. You or that girl in that one video. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking for it. I am disappointed. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I'm like the number one Ray J advocate, and you making me not want to be one no more. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined all my favorite songs. <laughs> you ruined all my favorite songs. But yeah, but, I'm, I'm looking. I don't up. like them no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for Bobby V, and I don't even like slow down. I don't like none of that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't like the pairing of him and Bobby. I'm like Bobby was cool, but it ain't. I was like, oh, yeah, man. Bobby <laughs> wasn't. Yeah, Bobby V, uh, most famous line of a song is the stupidest line in a song. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. You know what it is, well, Mrs. Mrs. Officer. <laughs> what did he yeah. say? That that was famous. <laughs> wee, 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 oh yeah, wee, wee. <laughs> like a cop cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then, other than that, it was like, what else did you do? <laughs> then pleasure P, Pleasure P, who's disappointed me and the fact that his career never really took off like I thought it was. But my man Sammy. Who I just recently saw uh, him and Eric Bellinger's tour. So, like, I've been a fan of Sammy the, the last few years. So, really, out of the four of them, I'm partial to more Sammy and then Ray J. I like Sammy and Ray J. Um, yeah. Eric Bellinger, I only heard of one or two songs, but you um, talk about him and play him to the point I listen to him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. he cool. Yeah. He cool. 
So I was like, I'm, I'm, look, nah, I'm gonna put that pick back. Sammy ain't never fell off. It's just a y'all stop paying attention when he grew mm-hmm. up. The R and B's been solid. His music mm-hmm. is real stuff. Cause he <laughs> he went from <laughs> phone calls. <laughs> he went from that to straight up. Hey, I ain't calling no more. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm coming to beat yeah. beat it up. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. pulling up. <laughs> it's, I it's think text now. <laughs> I think I put one of his songs on one of our playlists or something like that. I think I think I did. I can't remember. You and me, no, you. I think you and me both picked the Sammy song, but it ended up being the same song. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> my man was like, man, that's saying good, man. Right? Yeah. Like, At least that was solid, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. His most recent project came out. Yeah, I think it was for Valentine's Day. That, that, that I think that project came out. Yeah, but he, yeah. He, if y'all ain't listened to no Sammy the last couple of years, at least the last two three years. Y'all are true ripping, it, bro. <laughs> Y'all yeah. recycling R and B. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, there's a there's a throwback person putting out very solid work re- now. Like I'm like for this night of R and B, I might have to go get me like something nice to drink, like a nice little bottle of wine or something, just to chill and you know, make me and make me my own like nice little meal and just enjoy <laughs> watching this this very serious. Like, mm-hmm, mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, right. All right. We're going to end it on this last, 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 last one. And it's just going to be me saying one thing, and then we're going to go straight to where you can find us. All right. So I know what happened with Act. I told you Wackademus was whack. He's a lame. He's disgusting. He's disturbing. I told y'all that. All right. Now, you can find us <laughs> at Sha versus Smiles, S H A D V S S M I L E Z. Sha Miller on IG, The Uncle Urban on everything. Uh, I'm going to let you spell it because you spell it uh, like you spit, like you, like this is the hottest bar you ever spit. Go ahead. All that, all that T-H-E-U-N-C-O-O-L-U-R-B-A-N. There it is. Yeah. And then you got um, Music Impulse. Go ahead, do that one. M-U-S-I-C-M-P-U-L-S-E on Instagram and Twitter. And then you can follow my personal Instagram page at JW Smiles. There it is. Um, check us out on our own streaming um, mm-hmm. on like SoundCloud and everything and then check us out as a part of an audible ruckus yeah shout out to an audible, an audible uh, showing us love and supporting us thank you appreciate it the numbers looking real lovely keep it going mm-hmm. lovely lovely so Thursday I'm gonna be sitting on some bubbly bubbly uh, I might end up becoming a nice young lady's hubby hubby uh 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 I'm, I'm pure like a dovey, dovey, uh, yeah, uh, bars. Yeah. Uh. Now you made me not want to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I think you have, I think you have undersold <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and turned me off from wanting to watch Because <laughs> I know, I was like, man, these are my guys right here. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to listen to this no more. <laughs> not the bubbly, bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of the episode. That's 4 0. Uh, we done did 40 of these things. Uh, the new dynamic duo. Um, we can't call ourselves the new dynamic duo. We done did 40. Yeah. Technically, plus, plus more than that. Probably. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say double. I'd probably say like maybe overall, probably maybe 60. I don't know. Maybe. Well, but, uh, uh, yeah. The fact that we, the fact that we restarted and got even bigger and better, <laughs> aka we just start doing more of these, is crazy. Yep. So, and we've been consistent. Uh, also, um, just because I was thinking about our very first episode that we did when we did the rebrand, uh, shout out to Mike and Sine Planet Made Podcast. Uh, today, when you're hearing this on Monday, today they've also dropped their first episode back they they took a, a little hiatus they, they they both like had like you know some personal stuff going on you know they went you know really they, 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 they uh they teased it you know today you know monday june 20th you know 
they are back. So yeah, def- also definitely uh, shout and support our, our family over at Boy Anime Podcast. They they new episode dropped today. On brother Mike is back on the Twitter. Oh yeah, my man back. And y'all already know my favorite thing to say, man. Mike didn't do nothing. Y'all need to leave my boy alone, man. Yeah. He didn't do nothing. I don't know what y'all talking I saw, about. I saw uh, oh, Steve. uh the tweet y'all y'all had back and forth. He had said. He did like Kasha, like uh, less than or whatever. And you're like, what did she? What, what did she do? He was like, exist. <laughs> I was like, dang. That's all I can say. Man, say. <laughs> nah, like, yeah. oh, he back back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he back back. But yeah, and I uh, was just like, man, Mike is innocent. I'm gonna still hashtag Mike is innocent. He ain't do nothing. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I can see it. I'm like, hey, I don't know what you mean. Mm. What is that? I don't think that was him. I think he's hacked. <laughs> that, was a, that was another uh, beige ball headed guy. Had to have been. <laughs> I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got have Mike, man. Uh, no, we got. Uh, man, we backed up already in terms of like guess. Yeah, I'm Mike. M- Mike, uh, leave your calendar open between. Late July and August, <laughs> we because that's when we gonna have. That's when we should be back on schedule with everybody. Cause we still got at least about one or two more people. Yeah, we got at least one for sure. One for sure, and the other one we forgot to like check up on her. Yeah, <laughs> I told you that. Yeah, my bad. No, well, not my bad. That was, that was your content. So I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. Our bad. <laughs> But yeah, that, this has been episode 40, you know, OVO 40. OVO 40. Uh, shout out to the Black Fathers. Our <laughs> yeah. fathers on the block. We on the yeah. block. <laughs> <laughs> we on the block with this one. <laughs> and that's it. We gone. Yep.